Hi, everyone. I'm Elaine Quijano. President Trump is bringing his feud with Attorney General Jeff Sessions into the public again. He voiced his displeasure on Twitter Wednesday morning. This comes as CBS News learns more about the president's desire for Sessions to reverse his recusal from the Russia inquiry. That wish is getting the attention of the special counsel. Paula Reed has more. Republican Congressman Trey Gowdy's appearance on CBS this morning reignited the president's fury at his attorney general, Jeff Sessions. If I were the president and I picked someone to be the, the country's chief law enforcement officer and they told me later, oh, by the way, I'm not going to be able to participate in the most important case in the office, I would be frustrated, too. There are lots of really good lawyers in the country. Mm -hmm. He could have picked someone else. The president responded to Gowdy tweeting, I wish I did. CBS News has learned that special counsel Robert Mueller is increasingly focused on the president's interactions with the attorney general as part of his investigation into possible obstruction of justice. Today, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders refused to say why the president hasn't followed through on his threats. If the attorney general is not living up to the president's expectations, if he is so frustrated with him, why doesn't he just fire him instead of sort of nursing this grievance so publicly? Look, the president's made uh, his viewpoint very clearly known, and I don't have any personnel announcements at this point. Sessions recused himself from the Russia probe in March 2017. Since then, the president has repeatedly insulted him as disgraceful, weak and beleaguered. Sessions has given no indication he intends to resign and recently defended his recusal. There is a specific regulation that says if you participate in a campaign, it explicitly says that, then you can investigate the campaign of which you were a part. CBS News Washington correspondent Paula Reed joins me now from the White House. So, Paula, what does the special counsel's interest in the attorney general indicate about the investigation? Over the past few months, we've learned that the special counsel is increasingly focused on the president's interactions with Attorney General Jeff Sessions, particularly his decision to recuse and alleged pressure the president put on him to try to undo that recusal. Now, this is significant because this means that the special counsel's probe into obstruction of justice, it's widening. I mean, traditionally, it really has been focused on his decision to fire Comey. We knew that they were examining interactions between the president and his attorney general, but the fact that they're now certainly circling back to this over the past few months, it is significant and it also sort of helps explain why the president uh, has perhaps been reluctant to make good on all of these threats that he has made against his attorney general. And Paula, what have the president's lawyers said about him answering any questions related to Sessions' recusal? Well, right now, the president's lawyers, led by Rudy Giuliani and special counsel investigators, are going back and forth to negotiate the terms of a possible interview between the president and special counsel. They've put forth some questions. Uh, the special counsel has provided these to the president's attorneys, and one of them has to do, at least one of them has to do, with the interactions with Sessions. But Giuliani says he does not believe that his clients should have to discuss any conversations that he had with a senior official in his cabinet. Of course, these are conversations are technically privileged uh, because it's the president. So it appears that Giuliani does not want his client to openly discuss that. That could just be some protective, aggressive lawyering, or it could believe it could be because Giuliani believes something the president might say or disclose could uh, provide evidence of obstruction. And you asked this, we heard it in your piece, but you mentioned the president's repeated insults towards the attorney general. If the president is upset with him, why hasn't he fired Sessions? There are two reasons. One we sort of got to in the story, which is this question of possible obstruction of justice. It's, it's sort of as fuel to that fire if you fire your attorney general after you've threatened to file the fire the deputy attorney general and actually, um, you know, tried to uh, actually fire the FBI director. So it doesn't, it doesn't look good. The optics would not be ideal. The other problem is that those could alienate the president's core supporters. His base really appreciates Jeff Sessions' work on immigration, his hardline stance, the things that he is doing uh, along the border, including charging people criminally and therefore separating families as a way to deter people from coming here. That is very important to the president's supporters. They know that Sessions is the one working to deliver on that campaign promise about more aggressive border enforcement. And over the next month, Elaine, we've learned that Sessions will tour the country in support of his immigration policies that endear him to the base. And that is a big part of why Sessions is still Attorney General of the United States. Interesting. All right. Paula Reed from the North Lawn of the White House for us. Paula, thank you.